Zeno, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another video. This video will be about Vera Bradley loungewear, specifically like pajama type stuff. I will do all of the slippers in a separate video and the robes in another separate video, but this one is mostly just the pajama stuff. And um, I do have some non Vera things mixed in with these sets that I've put together, um, but you'll get an idea for what there is available. Um, I do have a pretty good spectrum. I by no means do I have everything in every color pattern or style or fabric or fabrication, but you will see a trend that I like the Jersey knits and the Henleys. It's more of a texture and temperature thing for me that drives that. One, because I live in Arizona, so really heavy stuff is just a no-go because it's too hot most of the year. Um, but also I sleep hot anyway, so I tend to like lighter, airier things. So here it goes. Um, this first set is, um, it's Jersey knit, but it's actually shorts, which I really like these because they're good length. They're not like super shorty shorts, which, you know, like coochie shorts. I don't like coochie shorts. Uh, yeah, they'll just ride up your butt all night while you're trying to sleep. But these ones are fine. Um, I don't remember the name of this. This is like medallions painted medallions and mini medallions one or the other um, but it does have this tie in the middle it's not so much a functional as it is decorative although it does give you a little bit of a pinch um, but the waist is elastic so but if it's too big you do get just a little pinch from that or I suppose if you're really skinny mini you could try and tie it around the back and, and just hold it up that way but honestly uh, I got the big size, I'm a big girl, so I don't have that problem, more the opposite usually. These very generously sized, very giving fabrics, um, light and thin. I mean, they're not see-through thin. I mean, you could see through it now, um, but they're not. They're very just very comfortable pajama shorts. Um, yeah, so that's the pants on that one. Ooh. And then I just have that paired with a blue top and some slippers, non-Vera slippers, but same style. These are like a thinner version of the cozy style. And these are by Snoozies, which is my favorite non-Vera slipper. You'll see that again. You'll see lots of more of them as we go. Um, now I don't necessarily have slipper socks for every outfit. I've just grabbed my whole drawer of slipper socks and little Snoozy type things and added them in. Um, Cause I often do wear them together like that. All right. So the next one is the pants version of the one we just saw. And I have that one just paired with a gray t-shirt. And this one is the opposite coloration. So the other one was gray on top with blue in the main. This one's blue on top with gray in the main. And it does have a cuffed ankle on it, but it's a loose cuff. And I like this a lot. It's, it's not elastic, it's just jersey. Um, so it just kind of tapers in at the ankle a little bit, which is nice. It still allows airflow. They're just a thin jersey and they're just so soft, so soft and comfortable. So these are the pantalones. All right, so oops, let me put that back in order. And then I also, I paired that with Vera Bradley slippers. So there they are. And these I think are the Bon Bon medallion ones. So I have not worn these yet. Not this one, I've worn these, but um, they have the non-slip dots on the bottom, super nice fleece on top, and then the cozy inside, which is awesome. They do have a little bit of padding to them, but they are completely soft, totally indoor only. I would not wear them outdoors. Um, yeah. All right, next one. Let's just go with this pile. Okay, so this next one is Another jersey style, it is pants version. It is a little different than the one we just saw. This one has a regular drawstring and it does have pockets on the front, which is nice. It is that same super light jersey knit. And I wanna say this is kaleidoscope, I could be wrong, but kaleidoscope type pinky on sort of a navy teal, like a dark, blue green. I paired that with a Vera Bradley t-shirt. This is like that Under Armour type material, but this is a Vera Bradley t-shirt from the annual sale a few years ago. 
and it's the foundation for breast cancer. But it matches perfectly with the pajama pants, so that's nice. And it's light, very light and very comfortable. And I paired that with some snoozy slippers. These are a little bit darker pink, but super comfy. And a lot of these slippers that you can see I haven't worn because it's been summer and some of them are new anyway, or newer. All right, the next one, this one, uh, I'm totally forgetting the name, but I know it, I do, I do. But this is another cuffed version, just like the medallion ones were. And it's the pink, I want to say like modern medley time frame. Hmm. Sorry. Anyway, I'll look it up and I'll try to put it in the link below. Or not the link, in the comments below. But there you go. The cuff on the bottom matches the waist and it does have pockets in the drawstring. And then I just paired it with this very um, slouchy tunic type purple top and because it matches the purples in there. And then I put that with some more snoozy slippers that sort of kind of match the, the pink in the pants. All right, the next one is flannel pants. And all, all of these sizes for me, by the way, are extra large, go figure. <laughs> um, but they are, they all fit very nicely. Even the flannel, I mean, the flannel doesn't have any give to it, but they're, they're nicely sized. This was before Vera started going on these fancy pants trick and they have, they, their sizing is now a little different than it was. It used to be more true to size and now it's a little smaller, I think. I don't know, maybe that's just my opinion. But these are straight legged flannel pants. This is in Kiev Paisley, which I really, really like. I love all the purples and a little too much green for my taste overall but I do like it anyways it's it's beautiful um, it does have a cuffed bottom it's not tapered but it does have a little you know finished end on it and these are also drawstring and they don't they do have pockets as well uh, but this I paired again with a purple shirt and some purple slippers so these are more snoozies just another version of them which of course my favorite color is purple. So it's just paired with a purple tee top and some purple slippers, which rounds it out very nicely with the solids on the ends, if you will. All right, the next one is Cuban tiles. This is just a regular Jersey pants, same that we saw. It's like the, the medallion ones, it has the tie that you know that um, non-functional tie in the front for decoration it, it does have pockets and whatnot but there you go and these are straight legged not cuffed on the bottom so you can see there's some variations over time as well um, this is just a t-shirt this is a cyclic vomiting t-shirt that i just kind of keep with my pajama stuff so there's that and then i matched that with my floating garden cozy slippers from Vera. And again, it's not a perfect match, but it's, it's close enough. Um, okay, the next one, and this is where we're getting into the Henleys. Um, and, and they're not necessarily all grouped, but sort of, kind of. So this is Lilac Tapestry. And these are the Henley bottoms. There is a Henley top, which we'll see in a moment. But see how it has, it has pockets and a drawstring, but it has this robust waistline on them, which is really nice. And it is very stretchy. It's like a jersey knit material. It's very stretchy and giving, super soft and very comfortable. Very, very comfortable. But the difference between these and the other ones I was showing with the jersey knits is this is just a little bit thicker fabric. Um, so they're, they're a little warmer. They're like the winter pajamas, if you will. Um, so there you go and these are also cuffed on the bottom they are a loose cuff as you can see but they are tapered leg and the cuff matches the waistline on those and that's pretty standard for all the Henley pants but you can kind of see the shape of the legs very very comfy all right and that I paired with a gray Mickey Mouse t-shirt with purple on there and so that actually matches really well and then some purple and pink socks because that pulls out the pinks in the lilac tapestry. And these are all my socks that I'm gonna show are slipper, non-slip 
thrift ones. Okay, this next pair, uh, those socks are not Vera, by the way. They're from Alaska, but. Okay, the next one I will show you. This is also a Henley. This is in the um, Holiday Owls. And uh, we've already seen the bottom. The bottoms are exactly the same except a different color, but the top now we'll see is a long sleeve Henley top. They are a decent length, actually. Very nice length on them. They're not like the short bottom, not at all. Um, they have a, a finished edge and the collar and also the cuffs of the sleeve, which are not tight. They, um, they do taper in, but they're not, you know, they're just a ribbed material. They're really nice. And then this one has, it has a little breast pocket, which is functional, but it's so little that it's, you know, really just mostly decorative, but, but there you go. And these are pretty crisp. I actually haven't worn them, so I need to put them through the wash and give them a wear. But, so those, and then those I matched with some slipper socks from Vera Bradley that aren't a perfect match, but they do match very nicely thematically and colors as well. So the non-slip part is those little flowers on the bottom. All right, so that's a full Henley set. Next up, we have a different jersey knit. This one is the interior from Lilac Medallion. So it's a Lilac Foulard. And um, I just, purple socks, they actually match. Okay, so this one is another long sleeve, but it's the thin jersey material. And it's a more of a loose fitting, but just super soft material, very, very comfortable. And there's the top. It is very, like a very slouchy top, but so, so comfy. It's just straight edge. It does have cuffs on the arms. And they, you know, like it would have been really cool to have cuffs to match the pattern here, but the cuffs are just gray and that is fine. It looks really nice. So it's just that upper, you can see on the back as well, just the shoulders of it. And then the inside of the bottom seam is also has the pattern on it. A little hidden pop there. There we go. We fold this back up. Sorry, you get the folding as we go. And then the pants are just the straight leg, drawstring, bottoms, pretty similar to what we've already seen. And then I just, like I said, I paired them with just a purple sock that matches. Okay. This next one is the same style we just saw, but it's in the berry medallion. And that one is black solid with it. So there's, there's the look of that. And I actually prefer this one. I don't know, just... The darker color makes the pinks pop more. I don't know. But I love my purple. Yeah, so this is the only two of this style that I have. Um, yeah, so there's the pants. And these ones have been worn a lot. Not since winter, but yeah. And then I paired them with some snoozy type slippers. These are actually just Disney uh, with animal from the Muppets on there and they have just like a little cross strap on them. They're super cute but they, they match really well the pink and the black. So there you go. All right moving right along. This next one is Stitched Flowers. It is the Henley style so there you can see that. Uh, I'm not going to open them up uh, because we've already seen it but but you can get a good look at the pattern here anyway. And then this one has a different top. So it is a jersey knit, like a t-shirt type top. It has a nice finished edge and the sleeves have a pop of color on them as well, two stripes. And then it says, I love naps. And it matches really well with the pants. I did not buy this together, actually. I bought the pants because I just wanted, I wasn't really sure about the shirt. Um, and then I just ended up picking up the shirt later in an online outlet sale, I think it was. Oh, and these ones don't have any socks paired with them. I don't have slippers for everything. <laughs> this next one is Jersey Knit. So they're straight leg bottoms. This is the Pretty Posies. And the bottoms are, like I said, just straight legged. And then the top is a t-shirt top, but it's the lightweight Jersey Knit. And it's just a straight t-shirt shape. Nothing special or fancy about it. It's just delightfully soft and light. So even though it's pants pajamas, these are very good for me here in Arizona, even in the summer. So that kind of gets a lot of use. 
Then I have the full Henley set, um, tops and bottoms in the lilac tapestry. Uh, yeah, I love purple. And this was one of the first pajamas I bought and I had bought the first one, liked it so much. With the second ones came up on sale, I just grabbed an extra pair, which both get plenty of views. <laughs> Here's another Henley one. This one is in um, Vines Floral. So you can see the pretty colors, it's top and bottom. It's a set. Then I have another set of Henleys. This one is in Bordeaux Blooms. So you can see the colors there and the pattern. Very holiday-ish to me, actually. Then I have an extra pair of Cuban tiles, pants, same kind of thing as with the lilac top. I just like the material so much. And sometimes I will just wear these around the house if I'm like COVID and you're not even leaving the house and you're, you get dressed, but, and then I put on something comfortable, <laughs> which is basically just day pajamas, I guess, whatever, don't care. Um, this one is uh, the owls. So this is from last year, but it's fleece. It's a fuzzy fleece. So these are much, much warmer. Great house pants in the winter. Um, they do have that top edge and a drawstring as well. Um, but it's just the owls. These are straight leg. They do have pockets. Um, yeah. And they're not short waisted, but they're not tall waisted. They're kind of a middle ground, which fits me very nicely, actually. But you can see the straight leg there. And these are pretty true to size, I think. They're very fluffy. So storage of them, you cannot put a whole bunch of them in one drawer because they are very fluffy. Here is my newest ones. These are these Jacquard fleece in intarsia, reindeer intarsia red. So you can see all of that. And we just saw these recently in a haul as well. But the straight leg does kind of feel like bell bottoms when I wear them because, because of the way they fit me, like the waist and everything is like fitted and then the legs are just like, they're not actually flared out, but it's sort of a perceived flare out, if you will. Okay, oh my gosh, I'm running out of room to transfer the piles. Let's put this over here for now. So next ones, we've got a mix of a whole bunch of like Daisy Dot Paisley, Daisy Paisley type ones. Let me just pull all these out together here. There's a bunch of them. Okay. Oh, before we get to that, here's an extra pair of Henley Vines Floral Bottoms. Not even out of the wrapper yet. They're extra. I mean, they'll get used, but I just figured, you know, if I wear these all the time, they'll wear out. And they will eventually, but I have so many. Anyway, so this first one... Uh, these were all like Daisy Pizza, but there were different tweaks to the names, um, but they're different styles, all kind of intermixed. So this one is the top, and I do like the, the navy with that. And this one gets paired with bottoms that match the sleeves of this. Um, so, well, a couple different options. So there's that top, and you have some leggings, which I wear for the bottoms, or... I also have the top and bottom that's kind of like a sweatsuit. It's not sweats, it's a jersey knit material, a little bit different material than we have. The ankles are elasticized, but they're barely tapered. I mean, it's a pretty straight leg. So the elastic is kind of a joke in this case. Honestly, it cracks me up because it's, it's not cinching down at all. Yeah, um, and this one has this trim here and I don't I don't know that this was called something medallion or some something um, but yeah so it's a drawstring it does have pockets it does also on this one have a butt pocket which most of them didn't but these I think are intended to be more of actual lounge pants vice pajamas straight up um, and the reason I say that is because the top is a hoodie not that you can't wear hoodie pajamas but it just sort of gives you the feel of you know, more just lounge wear. So there's the hood with the interior lining. Now the, the exterior is the jersey knit. The interior is the, um, like the material of the Palazzo pants. We're gonna see those in a moment, but it's 
it's like a rayon type material. It's it's not silky, but it's it's not exactly cotton. It's more cotton feel, but anyways. So this is a hoodie, like I said. So we have that, and then it does have pockets, but they're a little bit, I don't wanna say awkward, but they're on the side seam. So you're gonna bring your hands all the way over, um, but they are nice, generous pockets. And then the little pink BB tag at the bottom. So very, very comfortable, very stretchy, soft materials. I really like the Vera loungewear. Obviously, I got a whole ton of it over time. And I did not buy all this at once. It was just an evolution of things. Okay, so we have the tops and bottoms to that. We have the tops and bottoms to the pajama piece, which you almost could wear under the other thing if you needed. Here's another top. This one is just gray, but it has the same interior. I'm not gonna unfold it, it's the same exact thing. But this one, I got some, these are straight leg jersey knit pants. That goes with any combination of those. Um, and then I got another straight leg in this print. So again, this is sort of like the opposite colors of the other, but definitely matches both hoodies and the whole outfit. So you can kind of mix and match all these pieces because all the colors are there. All right, so that's that set. The next set of things is Lavender Meadow. And I got, oops, I'm dumping my piles. Okay, so Lavender Meadow. So we'll start with this piece. This is a knit top. It's just a tank top. Um, yeah, it's soft, it's comfortable, but just has that pop of Lavender Meadow down the middle there. Um, and those are, decorative they're not really functional buttons there's no split there this is just the super lightweight knit tank great for summer this is definitely a summer pajama for me and there's the leggings and these are capri <coughs> excuse me <coughs> capri leggings well, i just love the colors of these um capri leggings very soft, very, very stretchy. This is where we're definitely a little smaller in the sizing. It's, to me, not true to size on when you get into this set. Um, I don't know why that was. They changed up the manufacturing or something, but this is another tank that goes with um, the leggings and the outfit. And this one is very soft, flowy material like that jersey knit and nice shape to the bottom. It hangs very nicely, very comfortable. Spaghetti string upper. And I think I definitely prefer this over the other tank. I just think it looks better. I mean, it's a lot of lavender meadow that's not really broken up, but I don't care. <laughs> I love it. All right, now, this next group of things is still lavender meadow, but this is the, like, I think it's rayon material. Let me look at this says. It's definitely Lavender Meadow. Some of it still has the tags on it. I have not worn this stuff, but let me see what this material is. I know it has a tag somewhere. Here it is. Yep, 100% rayon. There you go. Okay, so the shorts, super flowy, very, very comfortable. You can wear these in the daytime as well, just day shorts. You could wear them out in public, they're quite nice. They have the trim down the side and on the waistband, which is nice. It is an elastic waistband, but it is also a functional drawstring that is decorative and long with the uh, little palms on the end. But very, very flowy and roomy shorts. Um, and again, you can mix and match the pieces and parts. Then I have the top that goes with that. So there's the back, it has that little neck button and on the front, it has some lace. Again, you can totally wear this as a shirt. I've seen people actually do that. Um, I have not, but I tend to not wear a lot of sleeveless. But anyway, you could. But just it's just beautiful coloring and very, very cool and comfortable um, in Arizona, which of course, very important, very purpley. So I've got, these are summer, I've got the pants, the 
palazzo pants. Yeah, the tags don't even say the name of things, but this is a different waistband. So it's like a layered elastics. So a little broader waistband, no drawstring. And then it does still have the trim down the side and it has a little lace frill at the bottom. These are capri length. There are no pockets on the back. On the front, yeah, also no pockets. So these are no pocket pants, unfortunately too, but I guess style-wise that works. They are very loose, um, uh, I don't know, like gaucho type pants, if you know what I mean. There, nice. Okay, so that's all the Lavender Meadow stuff. And then, we're definitely into summer pajamas now. Um, a mix of different types. Here's the one in uh, this wildflower paisley maybe? Maybe. Here's the shorts that matches the, the pants version that we saw earlier. I guess I could, no, I'm gonna put that in there. And the top that goes with that, I think it goes with that. No, it does not. That goes with this. Yeah, I don't have a top to go with it, not specifically. That's okay though. All right, the next one is Santiago Floral. I really like this pattern in the bigger, like the luggage piece and stuff, but I do like the colors. It's just that, you know, navy background with the pretty flowers and it's just nice. It has that, you know, um, tie, decorative tie on them. Just really comfortable shorts. They do have pockets as well. And then this one has a tank that goes with it. And it's a the spaghetti tank, if you will, with the racer back. But this one, <clears throat> they did this a couple times, and you'll see it again in a, in a moment, but they did multiple patterns on the same shirt. So there's your rainforest, your rumba, and then your Santiago on the other armhole thing. So kind of an interesting way to give multiple patterns the same top, but it's a very lightweight jersey. Again, very soft and comfortable. I wouldn't wear this out, out because that's just me, but it does definitely match the shorts. It's just too skimpy for my taste. I'm very modest. <laughs> um, here's another version. This is an older version. This is in Art Poppies. It's a shorts and tank set. It's just elastic shorts. They, they have that like multi-layered elastic, kind of like the Palazzo pants. So it's just like a looser elastic, very, very, very comfortable. They have a trim down the side and along the bottom that you can see, but again, just very, very comfortable. There are no pockets on these. And then the top is just a regular tank with a racer back. So pretty straightforward. I like the simplicity of it though, actually. I don't need a bunch of lace that's gonna be all scratchy or fragile and you know, just the basics. Comfortable, cozy, sleeping clothes. That's what I'm about. And this is the same style that we just saw, but this is the interior pattern for Lilac Tapestry. It's called, I think it's Lilac Ilcat or Icat. And that's the top and bottoms that goes with that. Same, same. Then we got the Cut Vines. This is a different style. This is more the rayon different cut of the rayon, but similar to the Lavender Meadow. So the shorts, very, very similar. The tie is a little bit shorter, but it does have those tufts, and you can see the stripy highlight on the bottom. It has that Palazzo waistband, same. The drawstring here is non-functional. It's just tagged on. It's not an actual drawstring at all. And these are very um, see-through, but I, when you have them on, they're not, but the material itself is pretty see-through. And the top is very flowy. It's a tank top type with an X back on it. Sort of a cross there, you can hardly tell. And then the bottom is that same trim. So it's a very nice, tasteful top. Very cool in the summer, perfect for Arizona. Figure out how to fold it back up again. Okay. So that is cut vines. 
Then we have a similar thing, but in Indio. So Indio was another one that they did a multi-top to. Here's the Indio shorts, same that we just saw. The tie is non-functional, it's just decorative. But there's the shorts. And here also is the, um, boom, it's a uh, spacing on the name, sorry. Uh, I hate it when I do that, I hate it. Uh, I generally do pretty well, but every once in a while, today's just not getting the brain going. So a second pair of shorts and two different shorts, but the same top goes with both. Um, and it's because the way they did the top. So this is the same style with the X back that we just saw with the cut vines. But let me see if I can show you, yeah. show you the shorts up next to it. So you can kind of see how that totally goes, but they didn't come out with a separate top for the Indio. The Indio is in here, and that matches the trim on the bottom of the Indio shorts. You see that? So right here and right here. So the same top with both shorts. Actually kind of a nice idea. Kind of cool. But like I said, very comfy, very flowy. These shorts, both of them. Why is, why is Alexa talking? Alexa, stop! I don't even know why she started talking. I definitely did not say her name. Stupid machine. All right. Sorry about that. <laughs> Kelly's all disturbed too. She's over here going, why is Alexa talking? Hey, come here. Hello, good morning. She's not a really big fan of Alexa. When I start talking to her, she'll come over and get close to me. I don't know why. Hey, go ahead. You're fine. All right, and the last stuff actually should have gone earlier with the um, Daisy Dot Paisley things because here's um, leggings. So why do I have two leggings? Because one is regular length and one is capri length. Um, and then I have pants, which I think I already had. So I think I have two pairs. And that's because I like the colors and I like the style. This is the straight leg jersey knit. And then these are Palazzo pants. Same like the Lavender Meadow, except they're in this pattern, which goes with the gray top specifically. I don't know how I got them all separated, but um, again, this tie is decorative. It, it it's just loops through the back. It's not really functional. It's just decorative. But these ones are long leg, not capri length, and they have that stripe down the side, which ties it back in with some of the other Daisy Paisley patterns. So kind of an interesting mix, but very flowy, comfortable, not stretchy at all. So with the sizing being slightly downsized, I didn't wear these for a while until I started losing a little weight so they could actually fit. A little better because there's no gift to them and I and there's just rayon so I, I was so afraid they would rip and I would hate to have that happen it's, yeah so anyways definitely have not worn those much just because they're buried in the bottom of the drawer and that is all of the Vera Bradley loungewear that I have at this time I hope you're doing well ramping up into the holidays it's November so Christmas music is blaring everywhere I love it and Hopefully you're enjoying some quality family time during this COVID era and be safe, be smart over the holidays. Don't be a super spreader and don't forget to wash your hands. Bye for now.